I heard Walker Hufford's going to be on the show, he told me that his sister is a cook. This is Rose, right here. Walker, right, right, sister right. Rose. Rose. Baby sister. Baby sister Rose. Chef to Rose. She has a, a catering company out of Florida, right? Yes, out South of Florida. Florida. There you go. What are you going to do? Just tell me what you're going to do. Well, we're going to make um, a Caribbean-style shrimp ceviche. Oh, I love ceviche. So I've had this shrimp marinating in Caribbean spices. So we have blended seasonings such as um, parsley, tomatoes, fresh garlic, um, a little seasoning, some oil, some vinegar. You let it marinate in there, mm -hmm. and then, you know, shrimp doesn't take a lot of time to cook. So. How long do you marinate it for? Shrimp, you don't really need to marinate it that yeah, long because it picks it's, up the it's, seasoning it's, it's really it fast. Yeah, fast. Exactly. This, this, Dara, this, this is emotional for me, right? I'll bet it is, man. I'll bet it is. When, I, when, I, when she was like a baby, right, I had to cook for them, you know what I mean? And I made them boil eggs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's not talk She's, about his cooking, Daryl. <laughs> he made me funny? some runny, runny eggs. eggs. Oh, that's the worst But Daryl, what happened? What happens is when they're little and you're doing it, you can get away with it. But after they get a certain age, they start rebelling. Start waking up. Man. They want to cook their own so food. Maybe I can, I can do better, right? <laughs> Obviously, yeah. you have done better, right? Exactly. Exactly. So we're gonna, what we'll do is we'll start off by cooking the shrimp. Okay. So we'll walk right over here, dump okay. this in here. Shrimp doesn't take long to cook at all. So you'll let it get some color. Okay. So in the ceviche, we'll do like a pickled onion, some cilantro, and some tomatoes. Hey, brother, do you want to like, you want to mix you gonna it? You going to do something? How you was playing me out with the whole thing? So did you about? learn to cook over the years, man? Did she yeah, teach you anything? Yeah. Let me do this. There you go. Really I've been wrong? cooking since I was eight. I don't know what our parents did with him when he was growing <laughs> up, but... They gave me a freaking guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, I'd and say my mom it was a division of labor, right? Yo. I had I, my, I had to be head of the church choir, man. That so you, was they, Before me, you was born, I was the head of the church choir. Well, the, the, you and me both. Yeah, right. <laughs> he might get burned. Yeah, then I'd be a real cook. But this is real simple. Once the shrimp cooks, wow, you yeah. add it to your pickled flavor. Um, you add like a little, if you want the creaminess, you add a little cup, like a little spoon of mayo. Mm -hmm. If you like spice, you add some cayenne pepper. All and if you like a little citrusy flavor, you add a little lemon in there. And then, let me show you right here. This is what uh, you there's end the up finished with. Product. And that is a beautiful thing. Can I taste that? Yes, of course. Oh, what Thank is the you. finished product? That's the finished product. So you add, you mix. Once the shrimp is done, you, you add it right into your pickled mix. Like I said, you um you blend. This is in our culture, we blend our spices. So we blend like what? parsley, we, we blend fresh onions, some garlic, some salt. You add a little olive oil mm -hmm. um, and some vinegar, tomatoes, fresh bell peppers, so red and green peppers. That's pretty straight ahead. You okay. blend it. And you can use that as a marinade for all of your dishes. Right. Well. I can't wait to eat the rest of your food, yes, Rose. Yes, because we have a lot more to come. We were changing on, on the um, oh yeah, on the first course. Is, hmm? it, the first chorus you went on the record. It goes. Yeah, yeah. Can we, can we do that every chorus? Of course, okay. definitely. So every chorus. And then every chorus. No woman, no cry. I got you. And then for verses, we just stick to the other one. Yeah. You're, you're doing that, that, right? I got you. Yeah, we're doing some different stuff. Well, we're, we're going to do it now. Okay. What are you singing on the chorus? No woman, no cry. Okay. We'll, we'll straighten it. I'm just singing, I'm just singing the melody. What do you no woman, no okay. cry. I'll sing um, uh, below you then. Yes. No woman, no yes. cry. No woman, no cry. I know. I, I, told, I said earlier to go to make them different. No Clyde, no hey Clyde. No problem. We won't go to B, right? Check it out. We gotta, we gotta all get the verse and chorus pattern together. So okay, here's, cool. here's the verse. Let's play the verse. That's all the verses, right? That's all the verses, just the four chords. Yeah, that's all the verses. Right, that's the verse. Yeah. And then whenever we do the chorus, Every we chorus. gonna follow. No woman, no cry. Yeah. Let's do it for real. Let's do it.
sure you can't forget your past. So dry your tears, I say. Good. Good. Uh, good. Yeah. This morning, you know, I heard about the song. And yeah. He had another yeah. song. I texted Wyclef at like 8:30 this morning. I said, man, kind of an emergency, but bam, 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 we might need a backup song. I think it's. A, and he texted me back. He goes, 911. I put, yeah, no kidding, man. It sucks, but we might need another. He goes, no, this is the song. Yeah, you got this is the song. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>